Hi guys, Justin Lord here from Paleo in a Box and I just wanted to share with you a question that I got from actually my AmFat Transformation Challenge group of which there's another one happening around May this year, pre-summer, so get yourselves involved. Um, but the question that I got in the AmFat Challenge that's going on now, actually we're coming to the end and luckily one of, those, one of those lucky guys is going to be winning a, an amazing gift um, sponsored by Rogue. So keep a look out for those pictures on the main Facebook page. But the question I got was uh, from a guy that's coming towards the end of his modules. And he's been doing intermittent fasting for a while and he says to me that he's getting some amazing results. He's only been doing CrossFit for about six months now. And... A lot of his work times and his strength and his PRs are actually starting to compare to the guys around him that have been doing it for about three or four years. So for him, this is absolutely amazing. Now, he's doing this intermittent fasting and getting these great fat loss results and also his performance results are greatly enhanced. But his question was, how long should I be doing intermittent fasting for? Should it be one week? Should it be two weeks? three weeks indefinitely or just when he does his words. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is a lifetime thing. Once you've made that change, you've become paleo and you have most importantly become fat dependent, then is the time to start becoming um, ultimate paleo and looking at intermittent fasting. Now, this is actually a lifestyle change which fits with our circadian clock. Now, when you go to uh, sleep at night, okay, you're actually utilizing that, those sleeping hours um, as part of your fast. And then all you're doing is extending that nighttime fast into the beginning of the day. Now, the best fast that I've found is the 16-8. Now, the great thing about that is, if you can fit your wad in towards the end of your 16-hour fast, what you've got is a massive, massive surge of your catecholamines, or mainly adrenaline and noradrenaline. Now, if you are a, a crossfitter or a wad athlete, or an athlete for that matter, coming into your workout that you know is going to be intense and hard, you know what adrenaline feels like and what benefits that can, that can have to you in terms of your performance. And the great thing about intermittent fasting is that the adrenaline and noradrenaline are through the roof, which actually enables you to hit some of those words with utter intensity and also enables you to get the aggression out and the focus and the mental clarity that you need to get through that world. Also secondly, um, this is why we're talking about it in our own fat challenge, is that it can boost your fat loss and also doing it for a long period of time can much more easily maintain your body composition levels to a more preferential uh, body fat percentage. It's absolutely amazing because you don't get an insulin um, surge at all because you've been fasting for such a while that you are not turning on your insulin um, uh, switch which can actually hamper your fat loss results. So you get no insulin surge because you've been fasting uh, for a while. And also you can get increased um, muscle mass because your um, adaptability or to your post-wad shake is through the roof. Your anabolism post-wad is, is you get a better response to that post-wad nutrition. Literally absorbs and sucks it all in to where you need it. So it's a threefold effect. And what you want to do is to improve your performance and your fat loss results. It is once you are fat adapted and you've managed to get... Um, your ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone, to uh, not be rearing its ugly head during those fasting hours and you're not feeling hungry, you can feel immense with massive focus, mental clarity and you just won't feel hungry and you break your fast and you eat for the latter part of the day up to later on in the evening. Now, um, late night eat, eating really goes against what a lot uh, against that conventional wisdom basically. So 
actually our sympathetic nervous system late on in the evening is our parasympathetic nervous system which is actually more favorable to our digestion so you're actually going to digest your food a lot better so all round intermittent fasting is something that once you are fat adapted you have become fat adapt adapted you have learned and, and reset ghrelin so you don't get hungry you're used to it and it's an ongoing lifestyle change regardless of whether it's um, a, a what day or whatever it doesn't matter this is a long term thing and you will absolutely love it but remember you need to be fat adapted you can't do it when you're moving from a processed carbohydrate high glycemic neolithic diet you need to be fat adapted and a lot of our guys go or everyone on the paleo in a box system goes through all of the modules get fat adapted get paleo adapted and then they're ready for intermittent fasting which is exactly the reason that it becomes uh, a module right at the end of my PIB program so there's your answer once you are fat adapted it is a change for life and you will continue to maintain a perfect body composition continue to hit your PRs and you will have increased mental clarity and focus I hope you learned something from that and I will see you in the next blog take care